last couple I've known about maybe three and a half years, man. You know, they've always been some good people to me. Always had a good heart, respectful. Robinson was my one of my good friends, you know, as we were working the same shift, you know, at the time. And he was always nervous about, you know, I can, say, I can let it out now, you know. <laughs> nervous about, you know, being in a relationship and so forth, you know. So I always, you know, give him advice and so forth. And, um, and you know, I was always telling him, like, you're going to find that one pretty soon. One day, you know, it was at the gun range <laughs> with, with his lovely wife. And uh, he was talking for a good little minute. So he came to me during, you know, lunch break and went, you know, say, well, what I should do? You know, it's this beautiful girl over there. We got good communication, so forth. And uh, I was like, man, go for it, man. Shoot your shot. You know, if you miss, shoot again, you know. You know, so um, he shot a shot. And thank God, you know, they got together. So, you know, and uh, not even a couple months later, he's like, man, I'm thinking, you know, this is the one. Uh, you know, I'm thinking I want to marry this one. I was like, oh, yeah? Shoot your shot. You know, <laughs> so, you know, he was nervous. He did his thing. He told me, I did it. I did it. I was like, man, I told you, man. He, he, she said, yes. You know, so she tried to get the secret or whatever out of me because she knew I knew, but I hold tight. I did want to tell her, but I do, you know what I'm saying? But, it, but, um, but serious note, man, they're a good couple, and I'm glad to see them together, and I'm glad they made it this far. Hopefully, to see you making it 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, man. You know, just know the ring gets bigger as the years go by, you know what I'm saying? So uh, just stack up. come together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The sacred relationship of marriage was established by God in creation. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but soberly, deliberately, and in reverent fear before God. Into this union, we have Mr. Xavier Rozier and Ms. DeAndra Brown. They've now come together to be joined. Therefore, if anyone knows of just cause why this man or this woman should not be married, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. My dad always told me, the two most important days in your life, son, are the day you are born and the day you find out why. I couldn't believe that the purpose of my life is to be happy with someone. But I was wrong. I met you. You are my purpose. I vow to make you happy, to make you laugh, and to always be there for you. I vow to say I love you every single day and show you love. I vow to support you in time of need. I vow to be the man that I see now in your eyes, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. I love you. To my husband, Xavier Rosen, I promise to never turn my back to you. I promise to never let go and to forever be faithful and honest. I promise to always be by your side. I am truly blessed to be able to now call such a loving person my best friend and now husband. As we share this journey called life together, with our kids, I promise to cherish our love always, and I know we will both enjoy and embrace life's unpredictable journey together. I promise to continue pushing you to reach your fullest potential, and I know you will continue to stand behind me as I love you, Xavier Dominique Roger, Mark 10, 8, and the two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. 
I love you, baby. I love you too. When I first met you, I kind of grilled you because I didn't, you know, want to figure out where your mind was. But you coming in and, you know, taking care of the girls and just owning responsibilities just showed a lot about who you were and how Dion talked about you. And really, I haven't heard anything bad, so that's a great thing. Um, so I just hope that as you all continue your marriage and your life together, that you take into consideration what the pastor said today about you know just keeping it between you and you know not taking it to social media you know just you know just working on you two and just making your relationship stronger so i'm very proud of you and congratulations toast since the sixth grade she's been a very good friend since still is now and i just want to say congratulations and it's been an honor just to be a part of your day My name is Rashida and Dion been my friend since we were young, band days. And I want to congratulate you. You're my best friend and I love you with all my heart. And I wish you the best for many years. My name is Brittany Nichols. Dion and I have been friends since high school and I think we are polar opposites, but somehow we work. <laughs> Um, and I have never seen her as happy as she is with Zay. So I, I just wish y'all the most happiness. And like the pastor and Tiffany said, y'all problems, if you have them, they're going to come. But keep them between y'all. Don't include the outside world, family, nobody. Let it stay at home. Thank y'all for including us and congratulations.